Hi there, so today I'm going to be talking about these two highlighters from Makeup Revolution. They are the Vivid Baked Highlighters and I have the shade Pink Lights and Peach Lights. If you're familiar with my channel, you will know that I recently did two review videos of Makeup Revolution products. One of them was my five favourite products from Makeup Revolution and the second one was just a general kind of review of the other products that I tried. These two highlighters did not feature in either of those videos. The reason why they didn't feature was because I was still trying to work out if I liked them or not. I'm kind of on the fence with these two although these two are very popular products. Okay so these cost £3 each and there is another one which is called Golden Lights which is more golden, more kind of yellowy toned. Pink Lights has a definite kind of lilac shift to it, whereas Peach Lights is a lot more of a, like, to me it's not really peach, it's more kind of champagne-y kind of tone, but it also has a pink shift to it. I will give you a little swatch just so you can see what they look like. Okay, so we've got Pink Lights here, and we've got Peach Lights here, here, and I'll just swatch them so you can see. So you can see Pink Lights is much more of a bright highlight whereas uh, Peach Lights is a bit more subtle but they both do swatch really really beautifully. There is an issue that I have with these, keeping in mind that they are only £3 which is a really really good price, I find that Peach Lights doesn't really give me much of a highlight and it can look slightly chalky on my skin. Now keep in mind that I have extremely fair skin, this one just I, I just didn't really feel like it gave me much. Pink Lights I do like and it definitely is my favourite of the two. There's a fine line between sheen and then kind of glitter sparkle and I do feel like both of these aren't really very natural looking. However, for £3 I think they are really, really brilliant products. It's just that for me, I don't find that I'm reaching for them because I do have more expensive highlighters that I do reach for because I do think the quality is just a step up from these. I also feel like Pink Lights has an almost like purple lilac look to it so it's not the most natural of highlights. Say if I was still in my party days where I would go out clubbing I think it would look really really stunning because it would really kind of make an impact and I think it would really work but I think for me, I'm a mum of two and I mean I definitely couldn't really wear it to the office because it would just be a bit intense. I'm not saying that these are bad products because they're really not. They're really, really good products. It's just that I do feel like the Pink Lights one is very intense so it, it will definitely be really noticeable. If that's what you're looking for from a highlight then that's fantastic. Go for it. I feel like Peach Lights for me with my fair skin, it didn't really show up all that well. I do believe that Golden Lights is the one that everyone goes crazy for and sadly that's the one that I don't have. So I am definitely going to give that one a go. As I say, they are only £3 each so I definitely think if any of these do catch your eye, give them a try. You're not really going to lose out at all. They are good highlighters, just not my favourites really. I do believe that the Solstice Palette by Sleek, the highlights in here are super super intense. I just believe that the quality is just a bit better. Um, you pay £10 for this whole palette. I do believe that if you want a really good drugstore highlight, I would definitely recommend the Solstice Palette by Sleek over these Makeup Revolution highlighters or alternatively go for one of the Shimmer Bricks or one of the Blushing Hearts because even though these are marketed as being blushes, to me they're highlights. So I do believe Makeup Revolution has produced better highlighters. As I say, not tried the Golden Lights one, that seems to be the favourite of the three. So I'm going to give that one a go and I'll let you know what I think. But yeah, hmm, yes, my thoughts of these are hmm, hmm. Hmm. Okay, thank you as always for watching and I'll be back soon with more reviews. I am going to insert pictures to show you what these look like on my cheeks. And anyway, I'll be back soon with more reviews. Bye. The reason why I'm just, I've got to go right now is this liquid lipstick is 
killing me. It's drying out my lips to death. I've got to go. I can't even talk at this point. Okay, bye.